Node.js has a, a sync local storage API, and here's how it works. The whole idea is that you can create a store within a single function, and then any function that is called anywhere down the call stack will have access to that store. This is really handy in Node.js where you're handling a request coming in from somebody. You want to create a variable, and then any function that is called anywhere down the line can have access to it. It's useful for things like user sessions and flags and IDs that need to persist through all of the different functions. So here I have a store. I just basically enter with and I create my store here. Then I call function two. Function two in turn at a random amount of time is going to call function three. And then function three is going to get the store that we created in function one and log out the actual values. You can see here, five, one, six, three, two, four those IDs are persisted. If I were to simply just log out the ID, that ID is shared amongst all of the functions and I'm going to get what? Six every single time, right? And that's not something you wanna do if you're sharing data in memory amongst multiple requests. So the async local storage API, there is now a proposal for the async context API, which will do the same thing in the browser and ideally just be part of the JavaScript language.